I, Exocaged RC, have got a Red Cat RDS Drifter. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to learn. <laughs> Let's get to that table. Here we go, guys. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do. The suspension feels wonderful. Maybe some sand paddles. I don't know, but let's get the body off. Look inside of this. I've got a lot to show you. Check this thing out, guys. This is on a much higher level than anything I've ever seen from Red Cat. They really went all out with this. And I had the MST one side by side, and it does not come with all the adjustments. It does not come with those, guys. So this is... This is really nice. I mean, look at all the carbon. We got carbon bell crank up here too. This thing is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I like the Red Cat Gen 8, Gen 9. This is beyond that. They really went above and beyond. I like this. The way the transmission is set up, you can put the motor in three positions. Here, here, or down low depending on track conditions. I have no idea what would um, require you to move the motor around I don't have a clue yet but maybe one day I'll know the motor is a 3300 kV 3652 size non-sensored and the ESC is a WP 10 BL 60 pretty much like a uh, 10 BLS 60 or hobby wing ESC hobby wing makes your ESC so that's actually a good thing as well before I move to the front half of the car, I got a few more things to show you that came in the package. It came with a ton of hinge pin adjustment blocks. The little inserts that allow you to adjust the hinge pins. Um, in, out, up, down, anti-squat, all kinds of everything. Tons of them. And I do not know what they would even do. I don't have the skills for this. We've got body mounts in case you want to change the body. And believe me, if I change the body, I'm not going to leave these things hanging way out looking all stupid. I'm going to cut them down so they're like right there. But I have no intentions to ever change the body, really. Got this little foam tab right here to go into these bumper things. This way, if you happen to want to drive inside and you want to keep your walls, well, hey, you got a bumper. We got the RDS RTR manual right here. And of course, it's got, you know, parts and Stuff like that, troubleshooting, and all that wonderful stuff. And back to the car, we have the gyro right in the middle, which is where I'm told it's supposed to be for best operation. Uh, the Hexfly GX1. If this is a rebrand from something, I have no idea what it's rebranded from. But there is an external gyro, and even with the GT5, which in my opinion has the best gyro on the planet, I will be using this. So, yeah. I'm going to try to do it correctly. The servo is actually a cordless digital servo. They say it's drift spec. 29 kg at 7.4 volts. So, um, yeah. Probably got to bump that up a little bit to get that. 0.11 seconds at 60 degrees. I thought they needed to be faster. But nevertheless, this is a legit nice servo by Red Cat. I'm telling you guys. They really stepped it up for this. I am absolutely impressed. I have no idea how to drive it, but soon. Speaking of the gyro, I see this on the box. They got all kinds of stuff right here. Woohoo! Now, the gyro. Easy adjustment, dual gain modes. Okay, I got some learning to do. Okay, so the first run is gonna be right here. I have no idea how much charge is on this little 2S LiPo, but we are all set. Let's check the steering real quick. Huh. Oh, that bell crank is actually, that's interesting. The bell crank is actually like part of the horn. There's no actual bell crank there. It's just bolted onto the horn. That's interesting. You guys ready? Let's throttle this thing up. <laughs> it does have traction. I can't believe it. 
Now we got all these camera adjustments. I have no idea what exactly to do. I guess when it leans a little bit in the corners, which I don't know if it will or not, I guess the tire sits more straight. I really don't have a clue. Ooh, that steering gyro is pretty wild. I can get that out of a GT5 gyro. Pretty sure I can. Well, I'm gonna go do some pretty serious donuts with this thing. You guys have no idea the donuts you're gonna see. And by the way, in case you guys are wondering, when I learn how to drive this, it's going to be one-handed. You guys know me driving one-handed, right? Okay, so that servo with a .11 speed is a lot faster due to uh, the uh, where it's hooked up to the servo. That's what makes it look faster out here, isn't it? Man, can you imagine you put like a Reese 299 on this thing? Wow. And for ergonomic reasons, it's time to go ahead and swap this out. I'm putting the GT5 in it right now. I'm putting in the GT5 and as I'm setting this up, I wanted to set my endpoints with the servo directly plugged in without the gyro. I mean, look. And this is the GT5 gyro. You guys are saying that won't work? It looks pretty darn good to me. That's pretty darn sensitive. And I do not have the factory one plugged in. Looks pretty good. Looks good to me, but I don't know what I'm doing yet either. The GT5 is in. GT5 is in, I put the receiver up here. The reason is I want to be able to easily change from the stock gyro to the gyro in the receiver. Now, GT5 is in, let's see here, we hit this right here. There's your, using the stock gyro. This is using the GT5 gyro. A lot faster to the servo, a lot faster. I still got all of that. So, and I'm probably making a lot of you big time drift guys upset, aren't I? I apologize for that, but I'm a total noob. I guess time will tell. I will try it in both ways, the stock gyro and then the GT5 gyro. And it's just, ooh, just a simple matter of moving a couple wires right there to try both ways. I want to point out real quick that there are holes in the light bucket so you can put lights in this thing. That's pretty neat. I've got stickers on it too. <laughs> yep. And that's it. I think I was supposed to put like a round thing on that for the number. Um, I've never been really good with stickers. I love them because they can cover up stuff that's messed up. Um, everything seems to look okay. I'm going to crash the heck out of it anyway. But There it is. Well, guys, as you can tell, I am way out of my element here. I have no idea, no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. I at least want to be able to go to a track and somehow manage to not be completely up against the wall the entire time I'm driving. So, but I know Richard, he's like right across the street. He has a nice drift track set up. I'm going to be spending some time there. I'll be spending some time with him and hopefully you guys can laugh along with me at the journey I'm about to take trying to figure this thing out. Guys, I like the car. Beautiful features. I love the carbon. I just got to learn how to drive it. Check that description. I'll put Red Cat down below. Make sure you check them out. GT5, since that's what I'm going to be using with or without the gyro in their radio or the gyro in the car. I don't know where I'm going to end up at yet. You guys tell me. 
check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. You guys, get ready. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.